Yeah, there was a play last night. Frank Wu described it as a possible play, where you uh, limped out of bounds, and then I think Anthony Davis saw that you were open on the base and you ran in, and it seemed like your body was practicing healing. Can you tell us what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I hit my knee. I really hit my knee, and it hurt. But I went out of bounds, and I saw Draymond guarding uh, AD, and I was like, forget the pain. I'm going to go get these buckets. <laughs> so I just ran back in and got a dunk. But I really did build my knee. Um, the overall chemistry between you and AD, um, what, what have you guys done to work on that? Uh, I mean, practice. Uh, we have big practices where we're, the bigs are working together on passing and everything like that. So we've just been practicing, and it, it shows in the game. You spent some time with Quinn Cook when you guys were out in Golden State. Um, what, what do you think he can kind of bring to the table? That's his first opportunity with the Lakers. Uh, uh, buckets. Straight buckets. Young QC, straight buckets. I remember last year you talked about the camaraderie amongst the bigs early in the season. Do you feel like you guys are uh, trending that way too with this yeah, kind of definitely. chemistry already? Yeah, definitely. I feel like, uh, especially me and Dwight, uh, we definitely have in our minds that we're just going to get it however we got to get it. And, uh, we don't, we don't want to give any other team pressure at the center spot. Uh, we don't want to le uh, loosen up the pressure at the center spot. We want to keep our foot on their neck. So it's great to have two running bigs that with, with high energy that can uh, protect the rim and can be a, a lob threat. All those years competing against each other, was there ever a relationship or was it just mutual respect? You're talking about like with you and Dwight just always during the, yeah. over the years? Yeah. Uh, I mean, just mutual respect, yeah, for sure. Getting back to the, the play, this is kind of fun thing to talk about. Uh, yeah, we've seen the puck and dog play. So yeah. Jason Kidd as a coach. Spill the coffee yeah. <laughs> or the drink. Yeah. Do you, do you think that's something that could actually work as an intentional? Oh, yeah. I think it definitely could work intentional, but I don't really mess with like faking injuries because <laughs> injuries are real. So I don't really like faking injuries. So I didn't fake it. I just want everybody to know that. I really did get hit in my knee, but I sucked it up like a real, like the real man I am. <laughs> did you see all the uh, kind of attention that it got on? Man, the <laughs> my shit was blowing up. <laughs> But yeah, it was it was cool. It was a cool play. How's your three point shooting come around out there? Oh man, pretty good, man. I'm 100 percent in the preseason, so <laughs> might as well. Is Kuz's confidence okay that you're out shooting him out here? You know, sometimes you gotta let the young fellas get they keep their confidence up. You know what I'm saying? He coming back, he gonna be great. You know what I'm saying? And his three gonna be on just because he been shooting against me, basically. <laughs> How many minutes do you expect Friday, if any? Uh, I don't know. That's up to coach. Yeah.